Hi friend, how are you on July 21st? I'm Pat Sloan, this is my daily video. Starting out with our challenge for today. I've been thinking about all these challenges. I hope you are enjoying them. Let me know below, let me know in the comments. And if you're watching on Facebook or have coming back over to Facebook, tell me over there. So our challenge today is to spa or not to spa? That is the question. <laughs> Okay, so what's the spa? If you've been with me a while, that is what I call going to the long arm quilter. When my quilt top goes to the spa, it's going to be quilted. So today I thought for the challenge, uh, think about and then tell me, uh, what is your approach to having your quilt quilted by somebody else? Do you do that at all? Uh, do you do it randomly, uh, just for specific things? Do you do it for all your quilts? <laughs> as, as some people like to say, they quilt with their credit card. Uh, you know, uh, I think there's a majority of us that do have our quilts long-armed at some point, some quilt. I have been having quilts long-armed for 30 years. Um, way back, I think I mentioned this on a previous video that my friend and I did a huge king size quilt for a wedding gift for one of our co co-workers uh, for him. And so we did not want to quilt a big king size quilt. So we sent it out to have it done in Texas. We live in Virginia, but that was the only place we could find that had somebody who was, you know, quilting your quilts. And over the years, I have quilted many of my own, but as my business, progress there's a couple things I learned about having somebody else quilt my quilts one it saves me a tremendous amount of time uh, and two some of my quilts need uh, really need an extra layer of art on top of them to make the whole design pop and sing and become extraordinary I am not the person who does those extraordinary you know machine quilting that is not my gig you know I like to do very basic machine quilting to do my own stuff but if i want a, another level something very extraordinary or if i want a super cool um, all over design those things i can't accomplish myself they are just not in you know something i do it takes a while to build those skills and it has to be the focus of your business and the focus of my business is other things so i send a lot of my quilts to the spa now um, like the one uh, for are so along of uh, bringing home the Christmas tree. Cindy did this one and it's got great big swirls and um, does it have jingle bells or stars or just the big swirls? I forget now. I think it's just the big, I think it's just the big swirls. And this is a pretty loose um, quilting on it. Okay, Greg, come back. So uh, I think it's mostly swirls. So uh, that's pretty loose, it's pretty open. When I say loose, that's open quilting. Uh, because I want it to be very soft and drapeable uh, and not stiff. I really like heavy quilting. Often my quilts are very heavily, heavily quilted. I have uh, three different um, long arm people that I work with. Cindy and Dennis do most of my work. Uh, so there you go. So I, how do I decide? I decide now it's like most of the time I send it because I don't want to, I don't want to spend my time doing the quilting. I would rather spend my time doing other parts of my business or have a day off. <laughs> Maybe have a few hours off, half a day, a whole day. Could take two days to quilt for me, but they could take it, you know, like in a couple hours. All right, so tell me a little bit about your approach to having your quilts done. Uh, and there's no right or wrong thing at all. Each of us luckily have a choice and you can do what works for you. Uh, so there you go, to spa or not to spa. All right, we have a couple of things that are fun today. For some reason, through this month, I put our Block Wednesday on Tuesday on the calendar. So I am publishing them on Tuesday. <laughs> I think uh, I got may have had a little brain fog when I was doing the calendar because I'd already been injured. My wrist, I'd already broken my wrist when I did our July calendar. And so I may have even just shifted a day or I did have a few days where there were a couple things on the Wednesday. So anyways, I put them on Tuesday. So, our going on a picnic block is, I'm going to hold it up, Greg. Here it is. So this is, I called it uh, the picnic basket. Woohoo! So this block is a very, very fun block. Very easy. Like I promised you, the blocks for going on a picnic are super, super easy. 
So picnic baskets, let's first talk about that. I have brought one of mine. I have collected several of these um, red tartan picnic baskets. They're vintage. I have a couple sizes. That's one of the smaller ones. I have a couple that are a little bit taller. I have one that's yellow, but I th I've ultimately decided I would only uh, collect the red ones. And I think I have three red ones and the yellow one. And so there is my picnic basket. So I'd love to know uh, when you do a picnic, when you show me your block, when you show me your block, tell me a little bit about your picnic basket. If you have one that you use, um, you know, sort of maybe a memory of one, like a grandma or something had one. So I'd love to hear that. Let's look at some fabric choices because for this block, there are two different fabrics again. And I think it would be so much fun to take this whole fabric line and make combinations. And so I brought a couple that are all peach combinations to just give you some other options about how to play around. Um, so here there's a darker and then the lights. And so this would be a perfect place for this particular fabric here to go in the centers because then it wouldn't bleed off and uh, lose its, its definition in the background. So these would be the centers and then I would use the uh, peach for, for the alternates. Using that same print, uh, here it is in navy. And the navy, uh, I would do the same thing. I put the navy in the middle and then I would use the floral, which is a peach version of this in all these out here. I, I think a whole quilt doing all the different variations would be so gorgeous. All right, once more with that same print in a different, the third colorway for this fabric line. Once again, I put that in the middle and then this has got the taupe, so it's not going to bleed in to that background. And I would put those in the six spots here. One more, Greg, can you push that? Okay, so here is, this is the green uh, with the with the peach flowers and then the peach version of this. Now I would flip it. I would put this on the outside and I would put the peach on the inside. So because it is fairly light um, and so I don't want to lose the definition of it. Now I didn't show you last time because I forgot but I'll show you this time the back. Remember my friend Ann made all these blocks for me and so uh, some of you really liked seeing how she did the back of the block. She is uh, a wonderful quilt maker. So if you want to come in close, Greg, you can just see she's pressed all of the rows the same way. They're all pressed this direction for all three rows. Here we go. One, two, three. They all go the same direction. And then for uh, the, she alternated. These go that way these go this way, et cetera. You know, so they're alternating back and forth. That way she could lock it in and nestle them together when she was doing the seams. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna give you a link today because yesterday started, Benner Techs invited, I don't know how many it is, maybe 12 different people uh, who, are, who are not Benner Techs um, fabric designers. They are awesome design, um, pattern designers in the universe and they invited them to each day from yesterday the 20th through the 31st to take one of Benner Texas Christmas lines and do a project with it and do a tour a blog tour and so my friend Nancy Scott was yesterday and her company is called Masterpiece Quilting and Nancy is amazing you may have seen her at shows occasionally she, she vends and teaches uh, in not right now of course <laughs> but um, her quilt, uh, she was using the Benetex fabric line called Winterberry. And Winterberry has this, it's a warm and cozy fabric line, it has this great panel. So she sent me the pattern to show you. This is the pattern that she did uh, called Block and Tackle. And what it does is it uses these 10 inch um, squares from the panel. And then also underneath the video here is a link to her website. But there's also in this panel a, a rectangle that looks like hand applique and it's gorgeous flowers and she did a pillow with that with piping which is uh, also talk, she talks about on her website so I want you to be able to get involved and see that she lists when you go to Nancy's site since she's day one she listed all the other designers and you can of course go and follow them individually or you could go over to Facebook and follow Benner Techs, and then you'll see the posts as they come up all right Reminder, reminder, the vintage um, Christmas book. I have the quilt hanging behind me, um, 
bring home the Christmas tree. I put out a project page for the sew along for that, which we are starting in late August. So you want to be sure to pick up your book and get your fabric uh, at the project page is listed below. Uh, you can go and get the supply list for just that quilt and you can either, um, there's no kits left, they all sold, but you can get some of the pieces of fabric that you like. You could get a different fabric line, you could go through your stash, but you do need the book. So um, I have it linked right now, it's 20% off. So uh, you know, as I'm taping this video, you never know, they can change. Alrighty, so that's one you want to be sure you're doing. Okay. The other thing, I have a question. I thought I'd answer one, one question today. Uh, I, I had a, up on my Facebook questions I could answer without doing a lot of demoing and showing of stuff because it's really not too possible for me to do that right now. So I had a great question from Joanne. Uh, which was really interesting. She has some quilt tops that she would like to make wider. She actually told me she has six of these and they were made by her mom back in about 2009. So over, you know, almost 10 years ago. But they're not as wide as she was like. Apparently they're long enough, but not wide enough. And she showed me one which were blocks. So she wanted to know what was a, would be a way to make these quilts a bit wider. Now I have seen this a lot done with uh, quilts that are square and generally people want them longer. So I think the same thing could happen is you, you pretty much will take whatever you have done and on the sides of it, just expand that. Now I'm assuming, um, Joanne, that you can't really make more blocks. If they're already tops and if they're already 10 years ago, you probably don't have enough fabric or have any of the fabric maybe to make, board, you know, make more, more blocks for the sides. But if you can find some similar fabric uh, you could take on the side and you could do like a sashing and then you could just do squares and then another sashing, like a small sashing, squares, and then another sashing. And that would give you this side border. Think like, you know, like maybe a table runner that might have something like that on the side. And that would be like for your, your take your long quilt and make it a bit wider. People do that a lot with square quilts. They'll do it to the top and bottom, add borders and then it makes the quilt longer. And it doesn't look odd, it looks pretty cool. So that's one way. If you are uh, listening, any of you friends listening, have another way that you've made a quilt wider, uh, share it. If you're on Facebook, share a photo, we'd really like to see it. Okay, there we go. Your challenge for today, tell me a little bit about how you use the quilting spa. Uh, what are your decisions for when you send a quilt out, if you do? And if you never do, that's fine too. But today we're talking about when you do. <laughs> so links are below. I love you. You have been so amazing. Thank you so much for all the well wishes. We're, we're moving along. Things are moving. My fingers move, move. I can do a little bit with them. So I will see you online, my friend. Mwah.